you'll know real when you get it. And when you get it, it'll say like eBay authenticity guaranteed. And you'll feel it. When it comes to your feet, eBay has your back. Maybe it's a head-turning pair for hooping or a hot new collab. And whatever you're after, you can cop on eBay and you can trust they'll be authentic. They will be guaranteed by experts. Not just any experts, sneaker experts who live and breathe the culture. Real people with real hands-on authentication experience. That's what the blue check mark represents on eBay. Authenticity guaranteed. Meaning every inch, stitch, sole is verified through a detailed inspection. So when you finally step into those grill kicks, you realize that feeling is like none other. And, and with, with eBay authenticity guarantee, that feeling is real. Ensure your next purchase is the real deal. Visit ebay.com for terms. All right, man, but hey, trade deadline took place today. A couple of hours took off. Um, not any marquee names to say, but I always want to ask you, um, obviously you've been a part of this. you played in the league for a long time. Trade deadline, how was that when you feel like I might get traded today? Like, what's that feeling? I only felt that twice. One time I was like, shit, I hope I don't get traded. <laughs> then I got traded. That's when I was in Boston. But the other times it was like, I ain't never really think I was going to get traded. Uh, Minnesota, it kind of caught me by surprise, but I kind of asked for that trade. I was ready to get out of there. Uh, but I wasn't there. I ain't never really cared because it's banks everywhere. That's a bar. That's a bar. Like, shit, you get your check on the first and the 15th, it's banks everywhere, so I ain't never really cared. That's real. I mean, I be feeling bad for certain players. Like, I'd be shit if I went from a cold-ass team to, like, damn, this team about to – not being a playoffs. These niggas is lottery. Like, my whole move fucked up. Nah, the worst is getting traded from a sad team to a, another sad team. <laughs> nah, that's, that's, when you, that's when you know your time is almost up. Yeah. When you start going a weak team to weak team, it's like, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here. You start hitting that chitlin' circuit, yeah. niggas start sending you to San Antonio. When they sent me from Minnesota to Atlanta in a rebuild, I was like... Yeah, I probably ain't going to have too many more years in this motherfucker. They was like, yeah, we about to have a backcourt of Jeff Teague and Trey Young. 5'10". I'll be wondering if niggas be trying to figure out, like, damn, bro, when they go to that sad-ass team, like, <laughs> what's next? I wonder if they be hitting their agents up, bro, what we got in the chamber, bro. I'm trying to be a, uh, especially if you got, like, 10 or 12, 10 or more years in there. You man. like, man. Mm. If you, man, nah, I'm saying, bro, you got, like, 12 or 13, you start thinking, like, let me finesse it and be a, a good vet so I can stay around a little longer. Yeah. Especially don't, if you don't have no plans outside of hoop. Yeah. Because that's a real decision. Like, you say that casually, but, like, for real, you we see them people who be like, all right, now I got to be a vet. Like, no matter how I was, all right, I got to adjust because if I'm about to be a coach, I got to start being on this now. <laughs> yeah. I wish I would have had the Udonis Haslam. Like, I, he held them niggas hostage because of that uh, big three deal. They owe that nigga money. He said, oh, I'm going to yeah. get every cent. Nah, yeah. on me. That nigga he played a long game for that sure. That nigga didn't play for like seven years straight. <laughs> Shout out to him. I, I wish I could have held the Hawks or somebody hostage like that. Nah, like, bro, that's yeah, chess. Fuck that. He played chess for sure. Right. So shout out to him. He did it the right way. For sure, man. Uh, a couple of trades that caught me off guard. Um, the Detroit Pistons ruined the Eastern Conference for no reason. I don't know why they had to send... Bogey and Alec Burke to the Knicks on the team that's already cold and gave them even better wings. I'm pissed. You know how much I love Tibbs, but shit, they ain't about to play. <laughs> now they can only play seven people. Now we about hey, <laughs> I seen a dude homie on the internet was like, he gonna have to break that rule. I just seen Tibbs head start shaking. Yeah. <laughs> when he sub being eight people, man, come and on, they gonna lose it. They can only play a certain amount of people, so it's gonna be interesting. Alec, Alec might not play, but he liked Alec though. Yeah. yeah. He, he his like, type of player for he sure. Yeah, play defense. Mm -hmm. Bogey cold, so you gotta play oh, my Bogey. Mama. But Thanks he don't play no I don't know if he played defense like that. That's where they might clash at. Yeah, if you don't play defense. Cause Dante been hooping, Josh Hart. Yeah, Villanova, yeah. Knicks been going crazy. Yeah, so it's gonna be interesting. I feel like they down there might be the second best team in the East now. Like hmm. what? They Over might who? be the second best team in the East. Over who? It might have edged Milwaukee out right now. But man. they just got packed. Man, what the fuck you talking about? They did. <laughs> and they still <laughs> might be the second best team in the East right a, now. That's a, good, that's a good pickup for them, too. They lost nothing. They weren't even playing Quentin Grimes. Like, they weren't, like, Tiz would give him no run. I think he a decent player. I think he going to, well, well, he in Detroit. I don't know what he going to do. Prayers up. But. <laughs> <to the pack. laughs> you know you, you Sada! know. Sada, please. You know you down bad. When you wave a, your 
lottery pick. Hey, man. Two of them got waived. James Knight got waived, and Killian Hayes got waived. And they said Monty was just like, he called off a trade for Killian a couple weeks ago. I'm like, that's interesting. So you did PJ and Ivy for 15 fucking games and then held him hostage just to let him go. James just killed. He been yeah. killing. Yeah. yeah, he had a 30, what, 35, 36, something mm-hmm. like that? Yeah, he, he been killing. Killed. But I think I think Pat, I ain't saying Pat going to make Milwaukee better or not, but that's a good pickup for them. Mm-mm. That don't put the Knicks over. I just uh, feel like the, Bucks, the as good as good as they playing right now to get two more players that can come off and still shoot at an amazing clip. Mm-hmm. That Jalen, that Jalen, um, I love that double Alan team Burke. is gone now because you that shit open. Nah, because yeah. Bogey can really score yeah. on me. Alec yeah. Burke scored too. When he, he was with, uh, that bitch. Yeah, mm-hmm. when he was with, I thought he was going to start going on his run when he played with uh, Golden State in 2020 because that's when he that was his best year in the NBA. He was averaging like damn near 17, 18 a game. So, I mean, they got a good score, but like Jeff said, I mean, Tibbs got to fuck with them. Yeah, that's true. They going to figure true. out a way to get Pat in the game some type of way. Pat fit Milwaukee perfectly because he don't need to, uh, he don't, he ain't a, he ain't a ball dominant point guard. Like, he yeah. ain't even really a point guard. Like, he could play point guard. He more of a defender, three and D type of dude. Yeah. So, for a Milwaukee, like with a Giannis, that's the kind of person they need because Giannis always, Got the ball. Mm-hmm. Like when Dame out, Giannis kind of control the ball. The backup point guard, you don't really get to handle the ball if you play with Giannis. Yeah. Giannis coming down, full head of steam. He wants you in the corner. He kick it to you, shoot that motherfucker. Yeah. And that's what Pat do best. He a mm-hmm. great catch and shoot, yeah. and he going to guard. Yeah, and then Pat, he going to hold niggas accountable. Nah, facts. That's why I think they really need him yeah. for sure. I was going to say, and the most underrated thing about Pat, like you said, <clears throat> he know how to facilitate and he know how to play with a star. And you need mm-hmm. somebody who know how to play with a star. And he's going to bring that energy that they they need to make her push. But yeah. I want to ask you, like he said, him and Dame got to get that relationship right. <laughs> you had a little bit of experience with that. How is it getting traded to a team where being on a team with somebody you used to have an issue with? Man, I like this much. Like, damn, now we got to work together now. Who the fuck I have an issue with? <laughs> Belly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't really, I ain't know it was an issue. I just, I was just wild. I thought I just smacked the motherfucker and moved on with it. <laughs> you thought it was just on reference? Yeah, I ain't know it was really no pressure with it. I was like, damn, until I walked in the locker room, I'm like, damn, he really still on that. But, <laughs> nah, they shit a little different, though, because they was talking big boy shit. Mm. But that's the nature of the beast, man. You got to yeah. walk in the locker room. You got to go say what up. Hey, on, that's on and off the court beef. Yeah, and it's a little yeah. different when it's like, yeah, you walk into, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm bit dog, bro. Yeah, I'm bit dog. Bro. Come on over here, yeah. you did, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bit dog. And like, it was cool, you were starting to yeah. you. Different. You could pop shit with them, like you could yeah. talk back and forth, but now you in a different position and you yeah. got to walk in kind of a little more humble. I'm not saying Pat ain't going to be who he is. For sure, he's going to do that, but. I'm a, I, I, whatever you need, I got you, brother. Yeah, That's bro, what you yeah. got. Yeah, you know what I mean? Hey, you got hey, I'm about to go get some shots up. Fuck with me. Yeah, <laughs> but he also got to be like, nigga, you my backup now, nigga. It's a little different, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Humble pie. Yeah. I think Pack, I think Pack mm. gonna thrive in that role, bro. Ah, for sure. He's gonna be I a perfect thrive, fit. Bro. He probably be, he probably sign a two or three year deal with them after this year. Yeah. It's gonna be funny in the playoffs. He's gonna have a couple of them games where he's just hitting threes for no reason. Mm-hmm. And he's gonna be talking cash shit. Oh, right, yeah, he's gonna be guard. He's gonna go at Philly. They gonna play Philly or something. He's gonna have a moment. I, I see it already. He's gonna have a moment. He had like three or four threes. Mm-hmm. He gonna start bugging out. Everybody in Milwaukee gonna love that shit. Milwaukee love that kind of shit. Like him and Bobby Portis, they gonna love yeah, that combination. They got a hell of a bench. Oh, they gonna love that combo. That's gonna be exciting to see. I'm gonna have to come to the uh, Eastern Conference game. Y'all still got my tickets. Fear the deer. <laughs> Fuck they talking about. <laughs> Not this seen last episode. That's crazy. <laughs> Who else y'all think cleaned up today? Okay, see. Okay, see. What? Up. Why? Because I got Gordon Hayward. Wow, you gave Gordon <laughs> some love. Hold sure. niggas accountable, you two. Man, please do. <laughs> I said I didn't want no more white people on the Pacers. But if that's all it took, goddamn. I ain't know the Knicks was going to go crazy like that. My Pacers, we got to do something, baby. Yeah, got uh, Doug McDermott. Plug McDermott back in the city. Yeah, we had to get butt water up out of here. And they got a, another mixed breed. Who, who you Corey say? Joseph. Oh, Corey Joseph? Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. I, I don't expect Corey Joseph to set foot um, in 46208. Corey, we have room for you. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. Hey, he, him and DJ Augustine was two niggas who kept a job. Yeah. For sure. Corey, matter of fact, Corey Joe, come on the podcast, man. We can talk about how 
We can go back. Yeah. This is a podcast to go back. We'll definitely love that. Before, before, they, before they get you up out of here, stop by. <laughs> <laughs> before your Delta fly. <laughs> It definitely is not funny. He's flying economy. <laughs> Get out. Nah, 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 nah. He first class for sure. Nah, he, can, he can play with y'all, bro. He can fit in somewhere, bro. He can get some bullshit minutes. Y'all not, y'all not strapped, Paul. So, like, y'all not like that. Hey, Amen. Y'all not a deep <laughs> squad. Look, I just got rid of Buddy. Let me be happy, all right? No, I'm just, just let me be happy. Like, right? just, dude. Just let me be happy. Nigga, I got rid you, of Buddy. Let me be love, happy. You love Buddy last year. You definitely was like, Buddy. That was my just, nigga. Buddy need to start over mathering all the time. Oh, on me. And then he came out like he was in Space Jam and never nah, got his parents fuck back. That. And Stand on I didn't that. want him no more. Yeah, I was disrespecting me when I said play mathering. Play the young boy. He said, like, we got Buddy Hill, though, bro. Buddy need the shots. Hey, now you trying to ship the nigga first thing out. Hey, listen. That's I know y'all don't watch Pacer games, but my Pacer niggas feel me. It, nobody shed a tear today. When they said, how does Tyrese feel? This is why people leave. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Fair weather fans, man. That's crazy, man. I'm a real fan. I never do that to the uh <laughs> <What's he about laughs> <to say? laughs> Luis Clip <laughs> no, I never do that to the buck. <laughs> 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 Or the Hawks, or the Hawks. Clip I'll never, that, please. What about Minnesota? That was awesome. Never been a fan. 